Isaiah Wilkins, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, how much practice have you been able to do? Uh, and, and how ready are you to, to play? And then for Devin and London, uh, can you speak to their, their press defensively and what challenge it presents? Uh, I'm all right. Uh, I ain't practiced all week um, at all. I've been, I, I go to practice, but I don't, I don't do anything. I just, I've been resting since, uh, since we got back from New York. Um, so today I'm going to work out a little bit when we go in there and see how I'm feeling and probably be game time decision. Devin? Um, I think that, you know, their press is really active and uh, we've been watching film on them and it seems to be their, their calling card. So it's just up, up to us to be able to handle it. London? I think he answered that one. <laughs> Other questions, please raise your hand. On our far right, second row, and then we'll come up front. Hi, Chris with the Saber.com. The, everybody talks about their defense, but their offense is able to get really hot really quickly, and, and they make contested shots. Is You have to be really alert uh, against a team that can just be shot makers, and, and what do you think about them watching them on yeah. the um, Well, they shoot a lot of shots. Um, they get them up very quickly, so um, of course they're going to make some, um, but we just want to, we're just going to have to make them hit contested shots all game. If they can do that, then uh, well, then they, they deserve to win. But we, we just can't give up any open looks, any easy looks. And uh, I think I think we'll be all right. Front row on our left, and then we'll move over to the right. Mike Savetis from Richmond Times Dispatch. London, you've been this your fourth time being in the tournament. You've played a lot of mid-majors and uh, see teams that are seated higher. Mm -hmm. um, they always come in seemingly chip on your shoulder, on their shoulder. UNCW took Duke, you know, stretched Duke last year in the first round. Mm -hmm. They come in hungry. Successful team. How do you? How do you guys balance that? You know, especially with the five twelve. You know, there's that upset every year. Seems like it's a trendy pick. Um, we we just got to come into it as it's a, as if it's a regular game. I mean, obviously, when you get out on the floor, the seeds don't come into play. It's just two teams playing um, to advance. So um, we just got to come out there and and play the best of our ability. Um, obviously, they're going to come out firing. Uh, that's the way they play, um, pressing, doing all, all types of things. So we just got to be ready for it. Um, I think if we're prepared, we'll be fine. Um, but we, we know it's not going to come easy. So um, I, I think we're ready for a fight. Front row on our right, and then we'll go right behind you. Yeah, Andrew Rance, Packer, Daily Progress. Isaiah, even without practice this week, I'm sure you've watched plenty of tape of these guys. What have been your impressions of, of Kaycock? He's Savage, and you're shooting about 80% from the floor, a guy who's 6'7", and probably be your kind of matchup. Um, and if you can't go, who are some guys to, to fill in to, to help with that? Uh, well, I mean, we'll probably start Jack at the five, and, and, or, um, and he'll guard him. Mama, DJ, guys like that if I don't go. But, uh, yeah, he gets a lot of stuff off pick and rolls, so if we got to do a good job on uh, ball screen defense, um, from what I've seen, he gets a lot, a lot of dunks and layups. So we just got to try to try to stop that and, and make him shoot um, over the top of people. Center aisle, second row. Isaiah David Teal from, from Newport News. You had, I think it was eight points and eight rebounds in limited minutes against Pitt. How much did that game take out of you and then affect you the next night against Notre Dame? Uh, yeah, I, I was tired in that game. Um, and the one day of like back-to-back -back games, I, I think it took a lot out of me. I thought I was going to die against Notre Dame. So uh, I'm glad I got these five days rest or whatever it was, and I'm going to try to be ready to play tomorrow. He's milking it. Front row on our left. For, for all you guys, what, what did you learn coming out of New York? Obviously, a disappointing showing against Notre Dame there in the last game. What did you guys learn? What do you work on? And, and obviously, offense, you know, you guys got to get more consistent on offense. What were some of the things you guys worked on in practice? London, could you start with that? Um, I, I think it just came down to our defense. Obviously, we, we didn't make shots, but uh, we couldn't stop them at all. So, um, we did a lot of defensive things. Um, we did a lot of pick and roll defense. Um, obviously, with UNCW, they do a lot of pick and rolls after the fast break or even in fast break. So um, I think this week we've been working on uh, pick and roll defense uh, a whole lot, if not the whole practice. Um, and then offensively, I mean, you're not going to be high all the time. Um, obviously, we wish we could have made some more shots in the Notre Dame game, but we just got to keep our confidence up um, and keep shooting the shots that we can get. So, Devin? Yeah, he nailed that one. <laughs> Isaiah, anything else? No. <laughs> Front row on our right. Uh, this is for Devin. Not 
most games this year, you guys were, were undersized, particularly in the ACC. Mm -hmm. This might be a matchup where you do have a height advantage. Mm -hmm. How can you guys use that to your advantage tomorrow? I think we just, you know, being able to throw it inside. You know, coach, some of the coaches have been uh, preaching that we throw the ball inside and be able to get, you know, easier baskets doing that. So uh, we have guys like Isaiah, Jack, and Jared who have, you know, guys on their back and they have good post position. Just throw it in and let them make plays. Other questions? Front row on our left. London, I remember Malcolm talking about, you know, his last NCAA tournament and looking around, noticing more stuff. Um, do you do that, or is it too early in the tournament for you to kind of take in any of the nostalgia stuff that he talked about? Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I've been trying to do that this year. Obviously, um, with the ACC tournament being in Brooklyn, uh, it was different. So I was trying to take all that in. and. Um, it was my, actually my first time being in Orlando, so just taking some stuff in. Uh, my family will be in here tomorrow or uh, before the game, so just being able to just being able to take stuff like that in, um, allow my family to be here is also cool, and just just being able to have them here for the whole ride is is going to be a great feeling. Um, I'm obviously not thinking about taking it all in as if it's going to end tomorrow, so I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to prolong that um, as much as I can. But yeah, obviously I'm trying to take everything in for sure. Thank <laughs> you.